to see is how the reaction starts. Okay, so I'm turning on. It's really nice. See those bubbles appearing on the cathode immediately. Okay, small view from the side. So here we see our cathode and our node. And it goes quite, quite, quite fast. You can see the hydrogen leaving the water at a very fast rate. Fairly nice thing. And here are those big bubbles of oxygen. Collect slowly so it won't go up so quick. Here is the top. Quick, quick, quick. View down. Okay, this should be interesting. This is our familiar magnesia carbonized water with high content of magnesium. So let's see how it goes. Hope it won't blow up. <laughs> okay. So this is unexpected that weak. Let's see about the current. Okay, so this is a little bit more conductive than the normal water. The pure water. But still it's nothing. I think this mostly will be carbon floating up. Okay, let's put the salt water back. Okay, reaction goes again. With full strength. Now we'll see if we can regulate the intensity of reaction with amount of salt added to water. Okay, our kitchen salt container. Let's see. Just a little bit. Current is so 205 milliamps. Let's draw the hole inside. Okay, now. You can see it's raising, of course just in the same amount as the salt dissolves and here it goes up so it's slowly rising, if I would use a spoon it would be imminent effect so the electrolysis might actually help the salt dissolve it So it raises 212. Not so much as I would like to, so I'll add a little bit more. Whole spoon inside. There's still a lot of down undissolved, so let's see if I helped it. It raises quicker now. Still not as much as I would like to, so I'll use the spoon. Okay, managed to scramble one nice IKEA teaspoon. So dissolve it completely and add a little, little bit more. Please remember that the current before using the spoon was around 216 milliamps. We'll see how much it raised the conductivity of water. It shouldn't be much, but let's see. Okay, like here. So let's put it in. The reaction goes on, and as we can see. The current has increased for one quarter. Ooh. 
well, fairly lesser than one quarter, but I counted with the salt added before, because we started 200 and some 202 milliamps. So 242, 43, that's very nice. And the reaction is way quicker now. A lot more. Here it goes. Well, this is not the best way to get hydrogen now, because the efficiency of this process is uh, somewhere around 40%. In this case, it will be much, much, much lesser. This time it's much more efficient to get hydrogen from the fossil. Um, the fossil... Um, well, simply places where you gain gas and the oil. Funny I can't find those words right now. Anyway, it goes on and on. Here we can see again oxygen and hydrogen. So we added a little bit speed to the process, now I'll just highlight this a lot. Okay, so a little bit more easier way to show the hydrogen explosiveness and so. So I'll burn those little bubbles, those bigger ones actually. Wait till they create again. So let's see. Boop. Boop. Yeah, exploding hydrogen. Let's try it once more. It goes mostly in the back, so let's see. Okay, that was cool. And extinguish the wooden stick. Okay, so it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's nice. <coughs> so well, let's see. Once more. So that was exploding hydrogen. Wait, another bubble creates so last time. I <laughs> like this. Experience. Okay. So, yeah, that's hydrogen. And electrolysis. Yeah. Okay, so that's about it.